I always get a question to say, what is the difference between a trust and a will? Or for that matter, if I've got a trust, do I really need a will? Or for that matter, if I've got a will, do I really need a trust? The simple answer is those two documents are actually two different documents. They all play a different role, but at the end of the day, they assist you as part of your estate plan. Now, what is the difference? So now let's put it this way. Let's say over the years, you accumulated wealth. You've got properties, you've got patient funds, you actually have assets that you bought in your personal name. Now, you are entitled, according to our constitution, under the Bill of Rights, to say you can decide on who has to get what you owe. Yes. Even if you are married in committee of property, you can decide 50% of that joint estate, the wealth that you share with your spouse, to decide on who gets it. It doesn't have to be your wife. It could be your children. It could be your mother. It could be the church you belong to. Now, that is the role of a will. A will enables you, it helps you to decide who gets what of your wealth upon your death. Now, what is this trust? A trust in an instrument that legally so, it allows you to separate yourself from your wealth in a sense that you can actually decide to say, I'm building this wealth. However, I don't want to be or legally owning these particular assets. And also, I don't want to be the one probably managing these assets for the benefit of who you can decide on who has to benefit when you're still alive or for that matter, even beyond your death. Now, and then you can appoint what you call managers of that particular, those assets. If let's say you're investing in properties, then you can decide who is going to manage those property portfolios in a form of legal ownership and control. Therefore, that's what we call trustees within the trust, right? And then you can differentiate and distinguish yourself from this so that should you get into troubles wherever you are, whether being sequestrated or being sued by creditors or whoever, right? Now, those assets that are in a trust don't belong to you, legally speaking. They belong to the trust, okay? And then they are bequeathed or rather they are bestowed under the guardianship and control and overseen by their trustees. As a result, you are away from those assets. So that is the role of the trust, right? They all play uh, wealth protection techniques that there are tools that can actually be utilized to protect your wealth. Then as a result, your wealth is protected and deciding on who benefits from it at what particular point in time. So that is entirely the difference between a trust and a will if you still have further questions you're more than welcome to state in the comments and let's engage let's talk about it okay good luck